Before we get started, I have to give a big shout out to Big Al Demand 2. He was the winner of the last video subscriber comments. So what we're doing today, we're going to count how many hairs I have on my left arm. One, two, three. What we're actually going to do, we are going to compare some custom Lego minifigures, compare them to some knockoff Lego minifigures. Now all these customs are done by Engineerio. Make sure you check him out on his eBay shop and his Instagram. He has a bunch of custom figures that Lego will never do in a million years. And he prints them all on actual Lego minifigure pieces. So make sure you check them out. Now let's get into the figures. All these figures are like the battle of the 80s cartoon icons. So the first one up is Snake Eyes from G.I. Joe. Now let me start off by saying Snake Eyes is my favorite character in the G.I. Joe franchise. Now usually you have a problem with the, whether it be cartoon series or comic book series, the villain always has the cooler outfit for some reason. This happens to balance the tide. In fact, Snake Eyes looks so cool. There is a counterpart to him, or the opposite, there's a yin to his yang, and that's uh, Storm Shadow but he is nowhere near as cool as Snake Eyes. Now, a fun fact, he is a mute. I don't know if he's actually still a mute in the new series or the movies that came out not too, well, I guess it was probably like 10 years ago, but either way, in the original series, he does not talk. I love the printing on this front torso. The part that sticks out the most clearly is that head print. The visor looks fantastic. The torso with the grenades printed on the front look great. He's got some utility pouches right there. Printing goes all the way down to the boots. If you turn it on the side, he has some fantastic custom printing on the side arms, which are mirrored on here, but what's not mirrored, if you actually look at the leg print, he has a gun holster right there, as well as this side, which he has a knife in that pocket, as well as a utility pocket right there. And you get the great back printing. So there is 360 degree printing, which looks great. And I love the back print, so great start to these characters. Let's move on. Next character. This character's name is Redondo. Now, I'm not an expert in this character, but what I will say, this looks very close to the original form. Now, looking at the overall print on the torso, it is done fantastic. I love the overall bandolier and utility belt right there, and I love how it transitions down to the legs. The overall character looks fantastic. He's got this, I don't know what kind of gun this is, you guys let me know, but it looks fantastic. I love the machete in his other hand, and he also has a little custom print right there, which looks great. Now the part that you, two parts that actually will stand out for him, is this custom painted hat, which looks really good, and it does represent the character's hat really well. And then also this great face print, which looks identical to the character. Now I don't think that there's any, oh yeah, there is actually printing on the back. Some great printing on back to match the printing that also goes on the front. So overall, just a great around character. Next character is Topside. Taking a gander at Topside. Now, if you've never seen the G.I. Joe PSAs out there, uh, Topside has one of the funniest ones, but only watch it if you're age appropriate. Pork chop sandwiches. Ghost. This is done very well. Now, there's not a whole lot to the actual character, but this transitions very well into the actual character in minifigure form. Great front printing on the torso, pretty plain on the pants, but that's to be expected because he has a pretty plain outfit in the actual uh, cartoon. And then looking in the back, he does have some back print right here. I like the shadows right there. It does stand out and make it look a little bit more defined. Next up is the Rock Viper Mountain Trooper. One thing I've always wondered about the Rock Viper Mountain Trooper. Uh, now this is a generic bad guy that hey, there's hundreds of them, right? Against the G.I. Joes. But do they all come with that mustache and goatee? At least that's what I thought when I was growing up as a kid. I had the figure. I thought he looked really cool then. And I think he looks even better now as a Lego custom minifigure. Print design on the front is great. Just a whole lot happening here. He's got a knife right there. Some, it looks like bombs on the bottom. Some knee pads. Great custom printing. It's not mirrored on both sides of the arms. So there is a symbol for Cobra on the top there on the shoulder. But there's some uh, different variation on the camo print there. As well as on this side right here. Uh, one thing that stands out is this great custom painted helmet. Looks fantastic. I really do like this. Now this is black normally, but it's painted red and it looks great. 
It really does match the overall color to this headpiece. There's only one head print, but it looks fantastic again. And some custom, uh, well, there, there's like this custom, I, I think this is like, I don't even know what these do. There's just so many things on a actual, like uh, these G.I. Joe characters. Like you see them attached to the actual uh, figures. Uh, I'm talking about the original toy line. And you're like, well, what does that really do? I don't know what this stuff actually does, but it looks cool either way. He also does come with a grappling hook, which I think suits him very nicely. All right, you got to feel bad, but not too bad for the Cobra Officer. Uh, the generic Cobra officer. Cobra commander is always leading you into battle, off to slaughter. Ah, uh, these poor fellows. But, you know, what can I say? They're, they're the standard infantry and you gotta have them. And uh, there's no exception right here. As far as quality on this print, it's fantastic. This is identical to what the actual characters look like. You see the overall black and white print on the front here. Blue, and, uh, blue torso, legs, and helmet. Looks great. I think he looks still really cool. I think, in fact, all the Cobra team looks really cool. I thought they most of them looked cooler than their G.I. Joe counterparts. Um, great printing on the back as well. Has the utility belt as always and the Cobra symbol only on the left arm. That's interesting to see. But uh, other than that, maybe he won't make it. Moving on up. Cobra Copperhead. This is another example of why Cobra is always cooler looking. Now, this is one of those characters, I think he was also named uh, Water Moccasin, or that was like the uh, the style of these characters. Either way, this is a great looking minifigure. I love the, uh, I don't know what kind of weapon this is, but it's amazing looking. Uh, great color choices uh, used here. I like the fact that he used regular arms and didn't try to take out this green and overlap it onto the actual arms just gives it that cleaner cutoff. I like he, how he also uses these uh, brighter green gloves, just makes it look a lot better. This face print is done very well. He has the mask on the over that, and this is like a, uh, a racer helmet on top of it, which makes it look more like a diver helmet without the visor. Design's great, and you can see that printing on the back, which is all unique. Each one of these figures, do they do have that unique printing on the back. It's all not just uh, the same thing done in a different coloration. One who lurks in the night, the Night Creeper. Another mysterious infantry from the Cobra team. Now this is uh, this is a perfect example of a great minifigure, custom minifigure done right. And there there's some things that could have gone incredibly wrong with this. Uh, most importantly, the hat. The hat print right here is done so well. The fact that this is custom painted, I don't even know what this is from, but the fact that he painted it like that and there's a white top that goes on top of it, it's done perfectly. You cannot tell that it's custom painted. It just looks like a legitimate Lego piece. Printing on this character is one of the most impressive so far. Just some great design choices right here. Looks very close to the actual character. And just, uh, it's done very well. You see some shading in the front torso right here for the armor shines off on, which is weird, you know, if you think about the actual character, he's supposed to be stalking at night, Night Creeper, but yet he has like shiny metallic pieces, that's, you know, rule number one. Looking at this right here, great printing right here, just some fantastic cool little designs there, he's got the size and back, and just such a cool looking character, and he comes with this sweet looking crossbow. The final figure of the real custom minifigures. When you can't have Cobra Commander, the next best thing is Destro. Well, not Destro, but this is, uh, at least it's close enough. This is, I think, characters called the Viper, and he's, again, a part of this infantry that uh, Cobra has. And this is some great design here. I love this. I love this custom paint. I think it's custom paint, or it's the actual official Lego Chrome head, which I don't know where he got it from, but it looks fantastic. I love this thing. Uh, overall print designs are great on the front. I love the choices for the helmet. Looks exactly like it should, although that looks kind of weird, but in the actual uh, comics or the, the cartoon show, he does have this on here. It's always sitting above. He's never really looking like this. He kind of looks kind of doofy like that. But when you keep it up there, it looks great. Print design choices on the front look fantastic. Just some great printing in there. You get the uh, custom molded, uh, custom printed Cobra design on that side as well as that side. And this cool tank on the back. Just some great printing. Oh, and the utility belt. Actually, let me take this off to kind of showcase a little bit of that. 
utility belt on the back with some printing. And if you guys are interested in getting any of these, make sure you check them out again on that eBay shop. Now he only prints like limited quantities of some of these, so if you want to get them, you better get them now before he stops making them. Who better to battle the real custom minifigure G.I. Joes than the fake knockoff Thundercat figures? Thundercats! So let's start off with Panthro. So one thing that you gotta realize with all these knockoff designs that you get here, they are stolen designs from actual customizers and what they do is they like screenshot it and they try to like tweak it a little bit and it always ends up looking worse than the original design. I'm not gonna hate too hard on the designs although they're never as good as the original. What I'm always gonna hate on is the cheap plastic that they use and it really shows up here. The clutch power in between the legs and the torso is really weak and it barely hangs on in there and it's really noticeable for like the arms, it just feels like that cheaper plastic. Looking at Panthro, he was my favorite Thundercat. And looking at this, he is like the worst disgrace for a custom minifigure. Just, it does not, tra it's not translated very well into this figure form. I don't know, the purple, look at the purple on the pants. Like his body's supposed to be like purple, like he's barely wearing anything and it's all supposed to be matching this. Like that's supposed to be the right color. It looks like he's wearing a leotard. It just doesn't make any sense at all. The color's completely off and it looks all wrong. And they always include this extra hand for some reason. I don't know why, but let's move on to the next one. A character that I never knew and I don't remember. His name's Bengali. I don't remember much about this character, uh, although what, I, what I'll say is not as bad as Panthro, that's for sure. Again, you have the same thing, <laughs> the overall design. <coughs> <laughs> uh, makes me uh, get a cold immediately. Wait a minute, I'm kind of surprised they actually have the side printing on the boots. That's kind of surprising. Uh, but I don't think he actually came with, or he should have size. I'm too lazy to look it up, but let me know in the comments below if he should have size. And I don't know if this, this is like the Joker hair print. It just seems a bit off compared to what it actually should be. Although it's not horrible, it's just definitely not as good as it could be. Next figure, Chitara. Uh, Chitara, my least favorite uh, of the characters out there. Now, looking at this, um, I'm kind of surprised they actually used the different color sleeve on this one, uh, that they would notice that. But the overall design is the the coloration on her face and her just overall front. It doesn't look like in the in the actual show. It's supposed to be white looking, and it doesn't have like a beige face, which this one does have. Now uh, printing on the side, eh, they missed the boot print, which I was kind of surprised because they put it in the other one. It does have a back print design, which is covered up by the hair anyway. And I just, I'm not sold on this actual hair piece because the hair piece does not really fit this character. Uh, really, I don't like this character in general, so, man, let's move on. Next character. Snarf, snarf. Nah, no, just kidding, it's Tigra. I always thought the name Tigro was a bit effeminate. Now, why didn't they call him like Tigor or something like that? I don't know. Either way, I don't like this character. I don't like the overall printing. I don't like the color choices that are used on here. They don't match the actual character. And his face looks like somebody smashed it in with a shovel. I'm just not a huge fan of this. They use the same Joker hair print for this, which I guess the more I look at it, it does kind of work for this actual character. Printing on the back design, <coughs> again, they does not match the actual arm print. It just uh, totally off as far as color goes. And the transition from the top down to the bottom is very harsh. And it just does not really represent the actual character. He should have like a leotard that turns like this dark, darker blue into this teal. And it should like go down into a V, but it does not. And look at his toes. His toes look a little bit weird. Either way, not a fan. <laughs> Lino, the leader of the pack, and as far as these knockoff figures go, this is probably the lead design so far. I do like the design choices that they have for the actual hair. I think this is Sinestro from the Disney minifigure line. Printing design on the front, <clears throat> it's okay, but where the problem starts getting, and it's kind of hard to see within this lighting, but the yellows right here are really, really weak. 
and they do not match up with his actual arm print and you can really see it on the side there which again they did a side print for this one but they didn't do it for the other one and then look at the back which there's no back design right here although he does have a back design on the torso which does look pretty nice so far this is probably the best of those and finally Mumra Mumra's always had an unfair advantage. I mean, when they came out with He-Man, uh, people were thinking, scratching their heads, how can we create a new villain that's equally as cool as Skeletor, but not quite a skeleton? Oh, I know, let's come up with a mummy that is uh, the bad guy. And that's what Mumra is. He's pretty much the exact same thing as Skeletor, except in mummy form to, uh, you know, share the success. The design on this is not that bad. I mean, he's a mummy. So you can't really get that wrong as far as the wraps go, although they didn't print on the side arms or the side legs, which uh, it's kind of a bummer. They did do some de design on the back, which is okay, and the head design is okay. I would like to actually see the original design for this, because I, I would imagine the original design is much better than this one. But. Lumbers are alright. So when you compare custom Lego minifigures that the designers take their time with every single minifigure and they really want to knock out their best work because it's a passion job and not just a money grab, and you compare those to fake Lego minifigures, there is no comparison. You could take these and flush them in the toilet. Alright guys, here's what I have for today. I want you guys to pick out of all these, if you were to have a battle royale again with all these characters, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take Snake Eyes out of it because he is legitimately the coolest. And I'm just going to say these characters right here. If you put them in a battle royale together, who would win and who would end up on top? Let me know in the comments below and I'm going to pick the top subscriber with the best comment below. And make sure you give me some of that meat and potatoes of it. I want to know the specifics of why you think that person would win. Well guys, that's what I have for today. I want to thank you so much for watching and until next time, you can help us take a gander.